All right, we are live. Come on in. Come on in. Have a seat. Have a seat. Yeah, you in the back. Come on, there are seats up front. Come on in. My name is Garth Brooks. This is Trisha Yearwood. Thank you for joining. One, two, one, two. Till the end of the performance. We thank you kindly. Anyhow, for those of you just joining us, welcome to this first live stream experiment. My name is Seth Keibel. With me is my child hostage, Will Keibel, who has just abandoned us. Um, we're going to play a variety of music over for you the next hour, and we hope to interact with you as well. So feel free to comment, uh, share, like, I have my uh, management team of Sandy Alexander and Josie Keibel back there who are monitoring all the comments in real time. If you see a response from me while I'm still playing my instrument, it's because they're responding under my profiles. Um, another quick announcement. You may notice here at the bottom of your screen some information with uh, both a pen pal and a Venmo uh, web link for you. Uh, first of all, they're not actual links. you got to cop type them into your browser. But look, here's the thing. I know a lot of people out there are in the same boat I am, and, and some a lot worse, to be honest. I'm pretty fortunate. Um, and there are a lot of unemployed musicians, artists, restaurant people, bartenders, uh, all sorts of non-salaried employees. So 
I don't want your money. This is strictly optional. I just want you to listen and enjoy the performance. The only people I want to pay attention to this stuff is if you are so fortunate enough as to have wads and wads of disposable income. I'm talking about, I'm looking at you, Mike Bloomberg, Tom Steyer, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett. If any of you guys are watching, these are the web addresses for you. Uh, but as far as the rest of you, just listen, just enjoy. Feel free to like, comment, and share. All right, we're going to continue as soon as Will gets back here. How's it going over there in social media land, folks? Interesting. Everything working? Yeah. All right. We're going to continue with a Latin tune by Mr. Joe Henderson. This is called Record May. We all good? Uh, yeah. All right. Say hi to the nice folks at home, Will. Hi to the nice folks at home. Very good. I hope you're all having a nice evening. <laughs>
thank you very much. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Hey, Sandy and Josie, <laughs> what are people saying out there in the internet? Are we yelling from over here? Yes. Go, or you can come over here. Tell us. Come tell us what's going on. <laughs> ah, hello, people of the World Wide Web. This is my wife, Sandy, who's right. clearly taller than me. Here we go. Way too tall. Hi. Yes. All right, what are people saying? 125 people are listening to you right now. Awesome. All over the internet. And they're Sorry. very excited. And yes. they really like you. And some woman named Naomi Alexander. Just Never heard said, of her. The kid exactly. on the piano is wonderful. Oh, sure. He gets all the love. I see how it is. <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing some old friends I recognize. Lots of people who know you, I'm sure. I see more comments like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like we're going to be forced to feed you and house you for at least a few more weeks. We're sucking up a lot of internet, so it's hard for Excellent. me to Excellent. Right All right. Us, but. Well, hello to everyone. Good to see Oh, yep, yep. Lots of people I know. Oh, thanks so much, folks. I appreciate it. All right. Flute. Jazz flute. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Let's play another song, shall we? I think the word is calling a thing now. One will soothe people's souls in this troubled and fraught time in which we live. What is that one thing? Klezmer. Uh, always, yes, indeed. Always. I just heard the internet shout huzzah in unison. So this is a Klezmer tune of mine with the creative title of New Freylock. Again, this tip stuff, that's only for those who have ridiculous amounts of money. Like, if you go on like seven cruises a year, and now can only go on five cruises. Then you can donate. But there are a lot of people out there hurting. I don't want you giving up your hard-earned money, especially my fellow musicians out there. Hold on to it. You're going to need it because rough times are ahead. All right. Uh, uh, one, two, And I saw some of you lifting each other up in chairs while holding the laptops and the phones. That was pretty impressive. Hey, know. Josie. Mm -hmm. Josie Kyle, what else are people saying out there? Cantor Ginny Marsh says great klezmer. Cantor Ginny Marsh. Hi, Jen. Hi, oh, Lynn. Klezmer is great Good klezmer. to see you. So, look, everyone watching, the one thing you can do right now, which will help me, is just click like. And if you're really inspired, uh, click share 
on Facebook so that this will automatically show up in your Facebook feed and your circle of friends uh, can watch as well as you. And that will help me on my path towards worldwide internet domination. All right. So now Will and I are going to play a little medley we worked up of two great songs. The first one is a civil rights anthem uh, written originally by the great DC pianist, Dr. Billy Taylor, although it was made famous by Nina Simone. And it's called, I Wish I Knew How It Would Feel to Be Free. And we've paired it with a great soul classic by the great saxophonist, Junior Walker, called Hot Cha. We hope you enjoy it. I believe it's going to start with a piano intro. Thank you. 
age 15, ladies and gentlemen. He's in the, hold your applause. He's in the middle of his freshman year, or was in the middle of his freshman year, at the McDonough School outside of Baltimore, Maryland. One of these days, he may even go back to school again. Oh. We'll see. What's up, folks? 160 people watching. Nice! A lot of people watching. Repeat that. 160 people watching, I'm told. Well, that's really nice. I really appreciate you spending part of, uh, uh, your evening with us. I know everyone's got a lot to do, a lot of places to go. Uh, we really appreciate you being with us. So since I have you here. I have more comments. Oh, more comments, yes. I have a request to do the Gator. The Gator? I don't know what that is. Okay. I have a request for William to give lessons to a friend of ours in Pittsburgh. Oh, you could do some Skype remote lessons. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear me if you don't repeat my comments. Okay, one of the questions was, can we do the Gator? Um, we, we actually have a Gator. We will bring him out. Uh, for a special guest appearance a little later. Another question was, can Will give piano lessons to someone in Pittsburgh, apparently? Right. And I think, uh, you know, get, drop us a line. We'll put you in touch. He can do remote lessons. Two more. Can you say hi to Andrew Keibel? Hey, Andrew Keibel, my nephew. How you doing, buddy? And send some love to Maya and Harper Brown. Oh, Maya and Harper Brown. I love you guys. I hope everyone's doing well. Okay, more shout-outs later. All right, so look, more people of the Internet, since I have you here, I want you to weigh in on a very important question. The Corona beard. It, it's, it's, no! it's, it's quite controversial no! in this household. No! It's fine. It is controversial no! in this household. People of the internet, what do you think of the Corona beard? No! While you ponder that question, start a Twitter poll. We're going to play another song. Have You Met Miss Jones by Rogers and Hart. Uh, okay. Oh no, no, we're doing new waltz. Let's do new waltz. Okay. We're gonna play it. We're gonna play my big hit now. This is oh, it. Yeah. New waltz. I wrote this. Contest winning. Yeah. Two, two, one. Two.
Yay! All right, so Sandy and Josie, what is the internet saying about the Corona beard? There are mixed opinions on the beard. Like mixed surprising. opinions, I'm told. I what? Think, what is that you're saying? Everyone loves it? No! Oh, okay. I will say that we have uh, Esther Baker has said that she would like to hear some Duke, but she also said the beard is not bad, so no Duke for her. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, should we do a Duke Ellington tune? Mm -hmm. Let's do a Duke Ellington tune, Ellington tune just for the uh, ex debater. Who is it? Esther. Esther Baker. I don't know who's. Oh, Esther. Okay. Did she I thought you said an ex debater. No. Oh, okay. But we do have some ex debaters who want to say hi to the Quigley family. Hey, Quigley family. All right. Well, by special request, we're going to do a Duke Ellington song. Uh, this is a song that Duke Ellington actually wrote for our current situation. Who knew? He was a very, uh, very prescient individual in addition to being a gifted composer. This is the 1942 Duke Ellington hit with lyrics originally by Bob Russell, Don't Get Around Much Anymore. That's and ain't it the truth, folks? Here. Get it? Don't get around much anymore? Huh? All right. That is not what I thought. We were anyway, doing. sit back, take a sip of your quarantini, and uh, we hope you enjoy this. You were just skipping the eight train. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs>
with only two people in the audience. But ladies and gentlemen, I've been training for this all my life. <laughs> I, it's so weird to be to making these jokes and not have anyone in the audience laugh. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> all right, so, uh, you know, real quick before we go on, I, I know this is obvious. I know everyone is saying it, said enough, and I got to say it too. My hat is off to everyone out there who's working through this crisis. And the list is long. I'm talking, of course, about the medical professionals, our medical heroes, our doctors, our nurses, our pharmacists, orderlies, everyone in hospital administration, doctor's offices. Uh, but of course, I'm also talking about the, the folks at the checkout aisles, the grocery store, food delivery people, on prime drivers, everyone who's making it possible for us to live through this ordeal. Um, we can't thank you enough, and this country can't thank you enough, and I can't thank you enough. Um, I like to complain about this situation, but honestly, we've got it pretty good. And there are some people out there who have a lot harder than us and who are working through this crisis. And um, I, I have no words to say to those people. All right, so, Sandy and Josie, what's going on in the interwebs? Uh Christina Alexander noted also the food, so she is a working... Food banks! Artist. Oh my goodness, yes. The food banks. Christina Alexander, shout out to you for working at a food bank. That's... And that's needed. Yes. Also, Victoria says Jazz Fest won't be the same without you. Oh, I am so sad I'm not going to be able to go to Jazz Fest in New Orleans this year. Uh, that is one of my favorite places, other than this basement, and one of my favorite times of year, and... Uh, uh, I'll have to go to New Orleans later in the year when this is all over because uh, I miss it. And I, Cantor Tori, I'm going to miss working with you. I'm going to miss working with you in April. But uh, my best to you and the entire congregation. All right, let's go back to the set list. Well, why don't we play Have You Met Miss Jones, which I think I introduced a few songs ago, yeah. even though we didn't play it. All right. And this one you're going to do an intro for. What company do you want? Thank you. 
much. Thank you very much, folks. For those of you just joining us, I am Seth Kybel. This is Will Kybel. Uh, look, again, I just want to say it, this, this, this thing at the bottom of the screen, the PayPal address and the Venmo address, a lot of people are struggling now. I, this is a free concert. I don't want you to give anything if your financial situation is even remotely in doubt or precarious. Only if you're fortunate enough to have a steady, secure, disposable income do we want any of your money. But let me do point out this, that there is no better form of economic stimulus than giving money to a musician. Because there's never been a musician in the history of music who has saved for a rainy day or had an offshore bank account. If you give us money, we will spend it that night in our community on burritos yes. and beer and scotch and other fine items. So it's a great form of stimulus. Just if they gave every musician in this country $10,000, the economy would explode because that $10,000 would be out of their hands within 24 hours. All right. Miss Sandy, yes. what's going on online? I am reassuring our friends in California, it is not too early to be drinking wine. Oh, oh it is God, no. It is never too early to drink, be drinking wine. And remember, the more that you drink, the better we sound. All right, let's do another song, Will. Should we do Wave? Yeah, I was thinking so. This one as well. That's true. I think that's true.
Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just assuming you're applauding. It's my prerogative. Yes, Sandy. Many, many votes against the beard. Many. You. She many claims votes. there's many no. votes against the beard, but I don't know. I think this is a rigged election. <laughs> I question that. I, th I think Sandy has set up some, some bots or some troll farm to vote against the beard. More importantly, uh, Tom Holtz is particularly impressed with Will's playing and says either he should have a Venmo account or some extra Twinkies. What What am I, Tom? What am I, Tom? Chopped liver? Thank you, Tom. All right, I anyway. Have, do, do quick things. I have a quick request. I have a request from Spencer in New York. Spencer in New York? More yes. saxophone. More saxophone. Okay, we'll do a saxophone too. Mm -hmm. And uh, please say hi to D Diane Carrod. She's out there recruiting people to watch this, like... In droves. Wow. Thanks, Diane. Diane DC, you've always been a big supporter, and I really appreciate it. My best to you and your mother during this difficult time. Hey, one more quick thing before we play another song. One of my many concerns these days is about what's going to happen to the arts in this country after this is all over. Because uh, cultural institutions are always hanging on by a tooth and a nail anyhow. Um, and I feel like, especially in terms of music, but really all the arts, when the rest of the country gets back to normal, it's not going to go back to normal for those in the performing arts. These institutions, these venues, these performing arts organizations are not going to be able to resume activities at their previous level, which is why I think it's important to start talking now about major government funding for the arts when this is all over. So along those lines, some of you may know about a week ago, I started a petition on moveon.org all about this. I won't go into the rest of the details now, but if you're interested, go to moveon.org. And if you do a search for post-COVID art stimulus, post-COVID art stimulus, my petition is going to come right up. And if you can, take a look at it. If you agree with it, sign it, share it, all that good stuff. All right, so for Spencer in New York, you know who that is? Spencer in New York. Got a lot of special people tuning in this evening. For Spencer in New York, I'm going to play another tune on saxophone. How are there will never be another. Last four bars. You got it, sir. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
should you pay any attention to this stuff? I'm thinking maybe if you're watching Senators Richard Burr and Kenny Loeffler, uh, Ke Kerry Loeffler, I hear that you guys have done pretty well in the stock market lately. Maybe. All right. Um, once again, on piano, it's Will Kybel. My name is Seth Kybel. You're in our basement. An unusual setting. I got this weird thing in between me and the piano. I have no idea what this is. I think it's like a piece of modern art or something. Uh, Sandy and Josie. Any other interesting uh, feedback from the interwebs? We completely stopped talking about music, and now we're now completely talking about your beard. Excellent. Oh. There is a movement now to start a Venmo for if you shave the beard. <laughs> <laughs> However, Heather Fole in New York likes it. Well, Heather Fole gets a lot That's of votes. That's pretty good. She's That's pretty important. Person. So thank you, Heather. You have excellent taste. <laughs> All right, let's do uh, How About Blue Skies and Bonnie all right, we're going to end with a couple of upbeat songs. This is one by Mr. Irving Berlin, Blue Skies. I know things look pretty bleak right now, but just remember, when this is all over, American society is to be transformed. We're going to have a new sense of connectedness, a new sense of empathy for each other. All the old divisions of politics, race, ethnicity are going to fall by the wayside as we embrace our new unity as one country, one world. That will last for two weeks. Then we're going to go back to the same old shit. All right. Kids watching. Sorry. <laughs> same old poop. One, two, I want two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
Before we do, I want to really thank you from the bottom of my heart for listening tonight, spending part of your evening with us, uh, liking, commenting, sharing. Anyone who's donated, we appreciate it. But honestly, we're just glad that you could be part of our evening. Uh, once again, I want to give a big shout out to my management team. We have Sandy Alexander. Hello, Yo. Internet. Kybel. Yo. Yo. <laughs> And on piano, how about a big round of World Wide Web applause for Mr. William Cobb? Yes. Again, my name is Seth Kybel, and most of all, we want everyone to stay happy, healthy, and for the love of God, stay away from each other. Uh, is there something up we would like, else we'd like to share? We a request for Cantina Band. Oh my goodness. We'll do Cantina Band in the next concert. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to end with a, uh, uh, there you go. There you go, right there. Um, we're going to end with a, a, a tune uh, that, that, that I often play, and it's another upbeat tune by Mirabis Duchesne from the Yiddish Theater, became a jazz classic. To me, you're wonderful. And that's true. Everyone watching tonight, to me, you're wonderful. I could give you a big virtual hug, but I won't.
stand up. Three, two, one. Wow. Thank you very much, everyone. Please stay healthy and stay safe. We'll see you again soon.